Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us for our 3 o'clock um, live joint update of COVID-19. We do apologize for the technical difficulties with Facebook Live. Uh, we will start again, uh, and we will begin with uh, County Executive Ted Rumley. Good evening. I don't know if you actually heard anything at all uh, that I said a while ago, but I will start over. Uh, pertaining to the uh, uh, declaration, uh, county state of emergency declaration that Walker County has imposed yesterday, uh, we have not done that. We probably later on, uh, probably toward the first of the week, we may go into that. Uh, it's not anything to alarm anyone. It's nothing to do uh, that would uh, bring on any kind of panic. This has to do with actually money that we possibly could receive from the state and federal government. And uh, there's a lot of things that's tied in with that. Uh, even though we're in a state of emergency, this uh, to do the county and of course we wouldn't do that. It just it puts us in line for that. Um, we do not have any confirmed uh, cases in the county. Thank goodness, uh, that's good news. Uh, the bad news is uh, they seem it seems to escalate in the state of Georgia anyway. We had 197, 197 yesterday. Um, at this time, uh, here we today we are looking at 287 confirmed cases. Uh, we had uh, yesterday three deaths that were confirmed, and we have 10 deaths. So uh, things are, are escalating, and uh, as I said the other day, this is uh, just the beginning. Uh, so that's why it's so important uh, to stay, uh, stay in touch with your local media, our local uh, website here. Uh, this lets you know what's going on right here in Dade County and not nationally. So you know, you just try to, try to remember that, and uh, we will keep you updated. We're going to do another one, of course, tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Uh, we'll be back, uh, I myself, uh, and I don't know how many people will be able to make it, but we're going to go ahead Saturday and Sunday at 3 o'clock. So uh, just, uh, you know, we, we encourage people to not only, as I said, tune into this, but to call. You know, don't, don't stay at home and worry and look at the walls and think, you know, what's going on. You know, if you want to know what's going on in the county, my number is easy to remember. I, I give it out and I give it out again. And, you know, and just call and, and maybe it will give you some ease of mind. You know, it's not, we're not saying we're not here to panic people but this is real it's not some kind of thing that you you see and I heard a guy tell me today it was kind of a po political thing well it's not I'll tell you that um, we have um, let's see here now uh, the uh, phone company I want to mention the phone company also they've really stepped up to the plate on our um, our Wi-Fi hotspots uh, we do have some of those uh, that uh, some of the locations here and I think there may be a a couple more coming up uh, maybe next week but Veterans Park, uh, the Wide Oak uh, Baptist Church parking lot, uh, New Salem Community Center parking lot and uh, for more information you can uh, go to our, our website or you can contact the phone company and while we're talking about the phone company uh, I got a note I got noticed just a little while ago the phone company they they have closed their their outside doors. Uh, Carrie I think you posted a uh, mail out yeah uh, an email from them and uh, you can go on our website and it will, it will describe that totally what's going on there. You can still pay your bills and all I think through uh, either online or there at the Dropbox. Um, let's see here. Is there anything else? I mean there's not a lot changed right here in the county. Uh, our government building uh, here is, is still open. Um, we, we will be posting a sign outside there. Uh, encourage, encourage you to call if you, you know if you've got any questions about anything it could be taken care of online uh, I did get a notification uh, Tommy will talk about this in a little bit uh, pertaining to the jail there's gonna be some uh, some changes over there and he'll go go into that but there will be signs posted out there also and so uh, they'll be real noticeable so just read them before you actually come in uh, well, you know the building will be open but a lot of things you know you don't uh, you don't want to come you know you might not want to come in the building because you know you not only you may be a carrier but there could be somebody in a building that could be a carrier so if you can do that without uh, without coming in that would be good um, and I do want to thank our you know thank our restaurants too because uh, everyone uh, they they really stepped up to the plate and uh, they've uh, it's, it's, it's inconvenient for a lot of people I know but it's the right thing to do and uh, you know they've closed the inside dining I don't know of anywhere in Dade County now that's uh, open to the inside dining you go in they'll even bring it out to you or you can go through the drive through and, uh, and try to patronize these people because they still have employees they're working, you know, and uh, try, try to help them out and, uh, and uh, on, on payroll and just to pay their power bill and all. But, but anyway, the, also the employees possibly, uh, you may have been, maybe one of these people that have been just uh, 
out of nowhere, you know, laid off, you know, from your job. And um, I said this a minute ago, a lot of people in this county, they live from day to day, week to week. And uh, they, the state have stepped up and on unemployment, they're, they're advising us to tell you to immediately apply for your unemployment. And that's something you do online too. Kerry's got information on our website and um, they, they've actually supposedly streamlined the applications and they're gonna really uh, make it available <coughs> even more so than, than, than the past. Uh, also, even the businesses, uh, SBA, we got notification yesterday, late yesterday, uh, the federal government have, have done the same thing, actually initiated the uh, Small Business Administration and, uh, and they're, they're offering assistance uh, through their website. Uh, it, may, it may apply to your business, it may not, but you know, if you're actually having to shut down or losing uh, income from this, it would be a good idea to go on that website. Uh, Kerry also has posted that uh, on our website, and it's, uh, it's an SB, uh, SBA website through a federal site. And there again, they're assuring people that they, they're trying to streamline the application because if you ever went through, signed up for an SBA loan, you'll know it's, it's really a, a time-consuming thing, so that they're trying to help people uh, out on this. Uh, let me see if there's anything else because I mentioned a while ago, uh, there's a lot of things changing, but there's not a lot in the county. I mean, we don't have any confirmed uh, cases, uh, thank goodness. Uh, I will go over this real quick on, as far as uh, a graph on the age group. Uh, the age group, uh, as far as the confirmed cases, the 18 to 59 uh, year old group, 46% uh, of these people uh, are in this uh, 287 confirmations. The 60 plus is 35%. So it's kind of, you know, us old people are kind of going the other way, you know. And so, you know, I don't know what's, what the deal is there, but, you know, they were really concerned with the 60, 65 and over. But so, you, you know, you, you're millennium people and you're young people, you need to think about this. Don't take it for granted. Uh, you know, I seen, I said the other day, you know, yesterday, I think, you know, the beach in Florida, it was full of people, you know. And, and most of those were younger, middle aged people. And I guess in their mind, maybe they're thinking, well, it, it don't affect you. Well, it does, you know, so take it. Uh, the, um, the virus also uh, compared female to male, 46% of these people are, are female, 53% uh, are, are male. 1% is unknown, so I don't know what that means, but anyway. Uh, but anyway, that's, that's pretty much, uh, you know, wrapping this up. We will be back here at three o'clock tomorrow. And uh, hopefully, you know, we can have, you know, good news, maybe it'll go the other way. Let's see who we got up next now. We had uh, Alex is going to be last today. He's got some things going on. And, uh, okay, we have uh, we have to have Dr. Jan Harris uh, here with our schools. Thank yours. you. Thank you, Mr. Rumley. Greetings from Dade County Schools. We have four updates today. First of all, a big thank you to Trenton Telephone Company for the expedited hotspots in the community. So students uh, and parents, you can go to New Salem Community Center, White Oak Baptist Church, or down here in Veterans Park, which is right across from the library. So if you're looking for a place to do extra work um, and get on the internet, check out those hotspots. A big thank you to Trenton Telephone Company for bringing those, uh, making those available to our students and community. I also want to give a big thank you to the Dade County teachers and the entire team. Uh, our team members are going above and beyond to meet the needs of our students and I'm incredibly proud of them and honored to work with such a fine group of educators. Uh, number two, the governor closed the schools until March the 31st. I just got off the phone with um, a teleconference with superintendents across Northwest Georgia. Um, the governor has a press conference today at 4 p.m., I'm told, and we are awaiting further instructions from the governor. Many of you have asked me about what's going to happen next with our schools, and so we are waiting for further direction regarding school closures in the state of Georgia, and I will let you know as soon as I know. Uh, number three. We will be serving meals on Monday and Wednesday of next week. The buses will run four hours later than their normal time, and parents can pick up the meals at Davis and Dade Elementary between the hours of 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. And fourth and finally, I want to encourage our students and parents to keep your normal schedule. 
Um, when you get up in the morning, students, you know, wash your face, brush your teeth, comb your hair, get dressed, make it a great day. Follow the suggested schedule that the principals and teachers are posting on their websites and check out our school websites for resources to assist parents during the shutdown. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to contact any of us, the principals, any of our uh, teachers, staff. Uh, my cell number is 256-658-6834. My email is janharris at dadecs.org. We love you students. You're doing a great job of just staying positive and just staying in that normal routine. And I'm sending each one of you a big virtual hug, hugs and kisses to all of our wonderful students from the 300 staff members of Dade County Schools. Lindsay Ryan, you want to come on up and give your report? She's our, well, our Dade County Health Department. Glad to have you. Hello, I'm Lindsay Ryan with the Health Department. Um, just some reiterations from yesterday. Um, we are only seeing patients um, with essential services. Um, our WIC department, um, we are not having clients come in. So if you are in need of vouchers, you need to call the health department. They will be mailing them out. Um, if you already have a WIC appointment scheduled, then be expecting a phone call around your WIC appointment time. Um, a new update is um, we, the Northwest Georgia Public Health District do have um, a couple of testing sites. The sites are undisclosed at this time, um, and that is due to the limited number of tests. So if um, patients um, have been advised by their doctor to go be tested, they will be given an identification number to take and notified where to go to a testing site. Um, and guys, this is not to keep anything from anyone, but um, just keep in mind that if you are well, you do not want to show up at a testing site um, because just to be tested. And I know a lot of people want that, just the fear of the unknown, but um, you're actually causing more harm because you're exposing yourself if you're well um, to those potential positive cases and then you're bringing it back home to your family so just stay at home if um, obviously if there's an emergency call 911 um, you know trouble breathing you feel like you're having a heart attack anything emergent aside from this um, but if you start having symptoms fever cough um, shortness of breath then call your primary care provider um, if you don't have one, your um, local urgent care center. And then also, um, if you don't have any of that and you're just unsure, um, we do have the um, COVID hotline, the state of Georgia does. So it is 844-442-2681. And um, I just wanna reiterate that um, everyone, if you're well, um, limit getting out going to different places um, just because you're unknown um, use hand hygiene wash your hands for 20 seconds um, with warm soapy water if you don't have access to that then alcohol-based hand sanitizer is what you need to use um, and then if you are sick don't just show up at a place call call first um, and if you have any questions you're welcome to call the health department our number is 706-657-4213 and if we don't know the answers we'll try to find them for you thank you good job we have a, a new person here today with us kathy johnson uh, she's going to give you a report she's from our department of family and children's services and we we're glad to have you here today and just come on up kathy and tell us what's on your mind Good afternoon. Just to provide a, a brief update for um, office and services with the Department of Family and Children's Services. Right now, our office hours are remaining from 8 to 5. Uh, we are getting several emails daily from uh, state office, including our governor's office, on 
on our next step so that is likely to change right now though we are do we are remaining open we are encouraging families to apply for food stamps Medicaid and TANF through our online gateway process we also had telephone applications for Medicaid and food stamps as needed our goal is to keep our lobby traffic low we're asking for two to three people in our lobby at a time and this is just for the safety of our families we serve um, for the paper applications if you do have issues with online applications you can come into the office and you can grab a paper application we'll be asking for you to complete that in your car or you can take it home and complete it you can mail that back in or bring it back to our office our mailing address is PO box 159 Trenton Georgia and that way it can be processed timely for families that have a need um, also our frontline phone number for any questions pertaining to services is 706-657-7511 if nobody is available to answer at that time please leave a message and they will get back with you within 24 hours again at this time we are remaining open between 8 and 5 to help serve the families here in Dade County thank you very good report Tommy you want to come up next sure. okay you ready have uh, you know, of course Tommy Bradford here he's representing our Dade County Sheriff's Department What we're going to be doing is uh, starting tomorrow to kind of limit the access to the uh, sheriff's office for the safety of the detention officers and the uh, inmates that we have. Uh, access to the interior of the sheriff's office will be limited to employees only. If you have an emergency and you need an officer right away, just as usual, please dial 911. If you just need to speak to an officer, uh, you can just call 657. 4111 uh, that's for like a non-emergency number in case you just need to meet with an officer here at the sheriff's office and they can meet you outside um, if you need a copy of a report or accident report if you'll call 706-657-3233 uh, uh, we can either email you the reports or fax you the reports um, You'll just need to call that number again 706-657-3233 uh, if you are needing to bond and uh, someone out or if you have information about an inmate that you're inquiring again call the 706-657-3233 uh, number and they can assist you with that and meet you outside the sheriff's office also again for the visitation uh, that's been closed down you can do visitation through Skype and uh, go to the jailatm.com and they will uh, walk you through the process to get signed up for that and as far as driver's license uh, I believe they're coming Monday we'll let you know something tomorrow on what we'll do to make arrangements to get you in for the uh, driver's services Okay, I see Alex has just uh, come in. He's on the phone there right now. I'll try to take up just a few seconds here until he gets off. He's been busy today, uh, actually every day. Your phone's been ringing off a while. Here he is right now. So, Mr. Alex Case, I hope you know him. Again, uh, thank you for tuning in today. Again, Alex Case with Dade County Emergency Services. Uh, everything's still uh, business as usual. Ted gave you the new updates of what had happened throughout the state. Uh, all four counties again with the Northwest Georgia Task Force has been working with Department of Public Health and we're hoping either late this evening or for sure tomorrow to get some of the personal protective equipment in for our first responders or sheriff's office or police volunteer fire uh, we had an order come in yesterday and we were able to deliver that to every one of the uh, agencies so they do have uh, equipment with them if it does and uh, echo what Lindsay just said is everyone that is feeling good uh, please if you can get out I've seen people at the parks again it goes back to social distance and if you are out uh, another restaurant at today that I was at they've taken some priorities and blocked off certain tables throughout the uh, restaurant so they cut their seating in half and they've got 10 and 12 foot in between uh, another restaurant again we talked about yesterday these folks are following the CDC guidelines for people that are well and out 
uh, and it, it seems to be working well. So again, we echo supporting supporting our businesses that you can because this is a tough time. Um, again, we're open and uh, doing business as usual and keep continuing on. Please follow uh, our website because things have changed off and on through the CDC uh, things, uh, recommendations as daily like we've mentioned before. So just please keep in touch and call us if you need us. If you do, remember, check on your friends and your elders, elderly friends, families, and neighbors. If you do have concerns with someone, please contact us, 706-657-4111. We've got a lot of uh, faith-based organizations that have stepped up besides their church family or looking at community family as well. So please, if you have some concerns, give us a call. <clears throat> Well, it kind of wraps it up for the day. Uh, we will be back, uh, like I said, tomorrow at 3 and then Saturday and Sunday uh, just to try to stay tuned. And uh, we will keep you uh, updated on any changes, not only in our county, but the state of Georgia. Uh, Carrie, have you got anything you want to maybe say to wrap it up, you know? Just the governor. Oh, yeah, I need, uh, that's right. I've got it right at the bottom. You wrote that in a little small. But I uh, do want to remind you that the governor is giving a live update and uh, it's on, on the virus here, and it's at, actually at 4.30 uh, today. Uh, so uh, then that, that, is that going to be strictly on the website, or is that uh, where, is it going to be televised, I'm sure? Or it, it is going to be televised. It's also going to be on um, his Facebook page. Okay. And then we will share it also to our Facebook page so you can see that as well. Okay. okay. So it will be there. Yeah. Um, guys, thanks for watching. On behalf of all of the agencies who came out to be a part of this joint live update, we want to tell you thank you and thank you for watching at home. Okay. Okay. See you tomorrow about 3 o'clock.